was fortunate enough to be born into a family where music was 24/7 revolving around us. Our family is is known as the family of sarangi players, and I am the eighth generation uh, sarangi player of the family who is carrying on the tradition forward. Now we use digital gadgets to produce uh, reverbs and choruses and sustain, and guitar players use like whammy bars to do swells and stuff, and it has everything in built. You know it. like the way it's designed it doesn't even need a microphone you can if you're playing it in a natural environment if like playing in a in a in a haveli site sort of a place or in sand dunes or in in a forest the sound travels with the air you know it flows around it doesn't need any kind of amplification so i'm still learning and i'm still trying to figure out that what is this massive machine all about of a wood called mahogany and in hindi we call it tun and as you can see it has few strings <laughs> and so it has about 35 to 40 sympathetic strings and which are these and three main cut strings which are 1 2 3 which are these so we the basic playing is done on these three strings and the role these sympathetic strings or steel strings play is to uh create the vibrant and the resonating sound which comes out of the instrument and as you can see it's it's a single piece of wood no blocks in it apparently this particular sarangi is 120 years old so i've been lucky that it came into my hands and the most unusual part of this instrument is that like any other instrument we use uh fingertips to take the notes out but in sarangi we use our cuticles which are the upper part of the nails so we don't really press down the string like this but we put our finger on the string like this and we strike it and we slide it like that so that particular um feature about the instrument makes it sound really really different from a lot of other instruments and makes it really close to the human voice it is one of the instruments which is very very close to the human voice it is said that it can copy all the nuances of human sound uh can produce and that could be produced in the sarangi also if the sarangi player has that much of knowledge yeah so yeah that's about it i think it's become like my body part now it shouldn't feel like okay i'm holding an instrument it should feel like okay this is a part of my body and whatever i'm thinking whatever information is going on in my head it should straight come out of my hands like that <laughs>